134. They're going to be doing it in an 11th leg in this match because Smith has got very close to equalising once again. But he's going to be under all sorts of pressure. Oh, what pressure. A 170 approach. Now Smith has to hit this to survive. It's in. Double 12. Double six. Loves this double normally, but he cannot find it. And two darts missed to force a last leg decider. And Adrian Lewis, the fantastic setup shot, might have helped win him this. And Game it does. A 6 4 victory in the blink of an eye. Ten legs of absolute class, with both men averaging 103. The five time major finalist, Michael Smith, beaten 6 4 by the two time world champ, Adrian Jackpot Lewis. One hundred and thirty-four. Use of the treble eighteen for Chris Doby once again. I can tell you, yesterday's champion Gerwin Price is three nil down to Martin Kleermacher, the Dutch giant. And that is a sensational setup shot from Joe Mernon to leave himself on double twelve for the match. Doby will get one. No, he won't. He's missed a big number again. It is the third time in the match that Chris Doby has missed a big number, 40. and this is the most obviously costly example because he may not return to the board. The darts have gone down on the table. He's expecting this to be match dart. Double six. And that Jake is Joe match dart. 6-4 Joe Mernon. He takes out the seeded player, Chris Doby. It will not be a second title for Doby today. And Joe Mernon takes it 6-4 to set up a mouthwater in board final with Adrian Jackpot Lewis. Dart at the bullseye at the end of it, but he's had a dart at the bullseye in this match and pinned it no problem at all. 140. Peter on a sweeter finish. It is the ball. Well, this 54. time he can't find it, and this could be the chance. The snake bites. To take control of this clash. Double nine. 43. Well, right fails. Game Shooter shot. nails. Pins a double 16. Didn't want a dart at the lesser scene. Double 17. He managed to leave. 177 and now Suter doesn't have to take this out. One hundred. Barring a disaster, he will have at least one match dart when he comes back. Michael Van Gerwen, the world number 99. three, was beaten in the first round of today's tournament. Gerwin Price. Yesterday's winner in the world number one was seen off in round three. 54. And Peter Wright has just survived two match darts to join the pair heading out of the exit door here at the Barnsley Metrodome. Can Snake Bike finally end this run of defeats against his fellow Scotsman Alan Suter? This time he can. And the match. This time he does. Peter Wright breaks in a last leg decider with a 78 checkout and celebrates in front of Suter as if to say, I finally got you. Peter Wright advances to the last 16 of Players' Championship 22 and he will. Finding it hard going against the ferret here. 174. Well, did that just deflect? That is incredible. I've never seen a dart like that. It deflected off the flight with the two darts in the treble 20 and went into the treble 18. It was an 11 dart leg that Clayton was congratulating. 37. Well, a quick trip around the board here in Barnsley as Lukeman lands his first max of the match. 
Chosen his sales of 5 100. 2 up against Dimitri Vandenberg. Has one foot in the quarterfinals where he would take on either Dermon Hetter or Vincent van der Voort. Martin Schindler, 2. Joe Mernon, 2 is the latest 34. score. The winner of that will take on Peter Wright or Andrew Gilding. Though Wright leads that last 16 match 3 0. Here, once again, 96. Martin Lukeman has left 50 after nine darts. Can't make it back to back 11 darts. Game shot. But he does go out in four visits for the second successive leg. No fist pump this time from Johnny Clayton. Into the list of giant killings. It has been a fantastic display. 140. From Lukeman since he was 3 1 down in this match. 95. He's gone 12 darts. Fifty-four. An eleven data in there, a fourteen data in there. Sixty. And he's looking to win it with a fourteen data here. Well, fifteen will do, it's one dart at double, Game and he shot. takes it out, and that is a wonderful comeback win from Martin Lukeman, who looked out of it when he trailed 3-1, but he's just reeled off five successive legs against Johnny Clayton to book his place in a quarter-final of hope, with Vandenberg failing to find a treble. 140. And Van der Voort has left himself on 96. He'll be hoping that the best Vandenberg managers here is the dart of the bullseye. He'll get at least that. He does better than that. One hundred. He has afforded Vincent van der Voort what could be a last opportunity in this match. For break number one of two, he needs double 18. Oh, that one he 61. hits. And that was a foul dart on dart number three. It was underarm, so it doesn't count. So it's double 11 for Vandenberg to go through to the semi-finals. Van der Voort, Game shot. furious, Vandenberg through, the Dreammaker reaches the semi-finals here at Players' Championship 22. The man who was beaten in the final of the world match play by Peter Snake by Wright could meet Wright in the semi-finals. He's 5-4 up against Martin Schindler, looks like a great game. Five games on his way to the semi-finals. I'm Dan Dawson, Paul Nicholson alongside me for this one. Have you seen Sill play yet today? I haven't. I've just seen him on the other board in the quarterfinals. He looks magnificent. 135. He already looks ready. Well, if he wants to win this title, he's going to have to go through Smash. 177. Smash Potato. But you mentioned the rematch of the World Match Player final in the other half. Well, if 59. you are tuning into this one, Congratulations, because you are a dart hipster. I am with Dan Dawson on that 100%. But Searle is starting with a purpose here. Oh, oh that's 159. What a setup shot that is. I said this on social media the other day. Those sorts of setup shots, three big trebles all 61. around the board, they are better than 180s. They, set up, they, they should be celebrated by everybody. Game Even shot. more, he has gone 177, 159, and pinned tops first dart. That is seven perfect darts there from Ryan Searle. They were absolutely, in fact, eight, I think, because the one previously in the first visit was a treble 20. That might not be enough. I think he'd rather hit the 25 here. Yeah, 17 leaves double top. One dart at double top is better than two at double 16 for this man, and he's missed the big number. That's lazy. 42. Lazy stuff from Ryan Searle. Lukeman getting a little bit fortunate to have these three darts at double 18, and now he's got to hit it. Got to hit it, Martin. No and score. He doesn't. You can't afford to do that against Searle when he's on tops. He loves this bed. Game shot. It's on the end of a string most of the time, especially on days like today, and it's an early break for the man from the southwest of England.
coatings that go on darts, but you get a little look at the heavy metal that is used by Ryan Searle here. And indeed, the setup used by Martin Lukeman. This is old school. This is, in my opinion, homage to a Hertfordshire legend because we know that Martin is from Hertfordshire. And of course, who else is? One of our favorites, Dan. Mark Walsh. Ah. Look at the flights. Oh, hang on. Look at this. Double 18. Oh, oh it's too good. It is too good. 12 data, 3 0. Ryan Searle on throws, throwing a 10 data and a 12 data. Way up into the 104s or something like that. He has only lost seven legs in six games so far today. It is obscene. And again, it's tops after 12. This has been one of the best performances I have seen in my entire life. 177. This has been an absolute battering. A 177 from Martin Lukeman. It's just a parting gift, surely. Because once again, match. Ryan Searle pins tops. That's the first time he's missed it in the entire game, and he hits it anyway. It is yet another personal best for heavy metal Ryan Searle. 117 average and a 7-0 whitewash. He has only lost seven legs in the whole day today, Ryan Searle, as he has battered his way through to the final of Players' Championship 22. It is down to either Dimitri Van der Meer, himself to 156, which he's already had a shot at in this match. He's been given a lifeline in this 60. final in the early stages. Could he take it this time? One hundred. That is a good plan B. Well, if Ryan Searle is to lose this final, he would lose more legs in one match and he's lost the rest of the day because he's only lost seven to get here. That's so impressive. 41. And that was the parting shot, of course, of Dan Dawson in the semi-final. Double eight it is. Double four. Eight. And again, he's missing doubles. That's not going to do his confidence on doubles under pressure later in this final any good. Yeah, missing an awful lot of doubles in this match. 55. Ryan Searle, 17, squandered already. 18, 19, but Game not shot. 20, and he does get ahead. How good might this performance be without all these missed darts at double? He's going to have to do it before the Worlds, because he's defending that big chunk of cash at Ali Pali this year, the 500,000. I wouldn't bat against him getting a second world title, though. And I wouldn't back against him taking the 106 if given the chance. Oh, that was close to a 51. And for a microsecond, Ryan Searle thought that was in. Well, his first 89. 180 of the match has set up the chance of this 106. And it is a chance to break straight back for Peter Wright. 14, 32. No Game problem shot. at all. Peter Wright. Not allowing Ryan Searle to get a run on him here. Extraordinary. Took him six legs to get one. Now he has two. One hundred and forty. Not three, and I think Paul you thought that was gonna go in, didn't you? I genuinely thought the lie was perfect. If he just snuck it in between the two flights, it was gonna nestle in there. One hundred. He does look so likely to get nine daughters when he's in this sort of mood. Yeah, amazed that Peter Wright hasn't hit more nine daughters in his career. 45. The way that Ryan Searle's playing at the minute, and the way he loves tops. If he can get through the 41. first round at the World Grand Prix, he could have a massive, massive tournament in Leicester. A bedfellow. For a dart at double eight. Game oh, shot. Peter Wright is reeling Ryan back in here. A wonderful couple of legs to restore parity after eight. And it looks like we might get a thrilling final again. 16. Yesterday was the more doable finish. He has the chance to hit the front here, Peter Wright. 99. For the first time since leg three. Could have been a different story had Searle not missed... 21 darts at double in this match. Both players have hit five. Searle will have the chance 49. to make that six. Base of the board. Can't miss double one. 
and Game doesn't. Oh, that was perilously close to that treble 17 to bust the score. But what a beautiful switch to the top of the board. That's probably one of the best double ones he's ever hit. Well, if you're in the midst of getting ready for work and he turns up to clean your windows, you don't have to close the curtains because he can't see anything. Peter Wright having a closer inspection at those darts. Yes, they are both in, Peter. I'd go 25 here to leave 96. The bullseye indeed would leave something even better. Absolutely the right clear. Gets himself down to two dart range. A dominant leg from Peter Wright. It could be another winning leg in four visits here. Winning the heads. The last three have been 12, 12, 11. Game Another shot. 12 data from Peter Wright to tie things up at six apiece. One thing I have to say, because it's the 127 is just as big, but what can Searle leave? 43. Well, if Peter Wright can take out this 127, it might well be the game. Does he get the treble or the single? It's the bullseye. He had a little check to see where Ryan Searle was. Wow, he's laid down the gauntlet. That is ballsy. That's incredible. And Searle hasn't. 49. That is mind games united right there. I can't believe he did that. But it has worked only if he hits double eight. Game and it shot. has worked. Wow, I can't believe he did that. That was pure Eric Bristol behavior from Peter Wright. Right behind him. 120. Perched on 54 to force a decider. He's going to go 25 first. He did this in the semi final to finish off Dimitri Vandenberg, and this is to finish off Ryan Searle in the tournament. 59. Right wobbles. And Searle Game cleans shot. up, and for the second successive day here at the Super Series, we are going the distance in the decider. Well, just 40. Signs of shakiness from Searle. At the especially, end of the match. Especially Murph on that last start because he should have gone treble 17. You said he had six from 112. He might end up with just one dart at double here. But it might be tops though. It's something 99. he loves. And he might need it right now. Single for that tops. And it's Game in the bank. And the match. A second ranking title for Ryan Searle. That double top has been his best friend all day long. He did survive a match dart from Peter Wright. But it is Ryan Searle that prevails today. Chris Murphy, what a final. That has been for the second day in succession. Yeah,